Okay, we've made it. We're here at ETC now. We're gonna go into the Pottery Barn. My mom has some returns to do, and then I don't know what else we're gonna do. Well, it's real good seeing y'all here. As you know, we are going to put on the Christmas play. Due to the shortage of time, we'll get right down to work. I can tell you what Christmas is. Hey y'all, welcome back to your girl who lives. We're back with another Christmas video. We're back with another Christmas video for Vlogmas. Today will be a little sit down, chill, hot cocoa by the fire. We are gonna give you the top 10 Netflix movies, Christmas movies on Netflix. Later on in the week, I think I've decided to do the top 10 of my favorite Christmas movies. Um, preferably the classics, but we'll see what happens. So why not we just get right on to it? These are not in any particular order. I'm just going off of the list I created. But to start off, the How the Grinch Stole Christmas movie. It is on number four on the top 10 of the US today on Netflix list. It was made in 2000, Jim Carrey plays the Grinch and if you don't know anything about it basically it's this green monster who doesn't love Christmas and it is a Dr. Seuss I'm pretty sure it's a book but I'm not 100% sure but anyways a little girl named Cindy Lou does her magic on the Grinch and the rest is history so if you haven't seen it I highly recommend it I do recommend the newest version of the Grinch who stole Christmas because that one is so cute it used to be on Netflix but then it got taken away I'm not really sure the whole deets on that but if you want to know go ahead and look it up and let your girl know because I don't know I just know that hopefully it eventually comes back because it's really really good but for now on Netflix this one is pretty good second one on the list is called the Christmas Chronicles so I watched this video video this movie uh, about a week ago with Tyler and it's super good it's so cute and he said that if he watched this when he was younger that it would probably probably be one of his top favorites but we just found out that they have a second one so we're gonna watch that hopefully soon but it's really cute it's about this little family who lost their dad and the brother and sister go on an adventure to find Santa and then they help Santa and yada 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 I don't want to give too much because I want you guys to watch it I'm excited to watch the second one that's definitely on my list this one is ranking number six in movies today on Netflix so it's really cute it just came out oh, it came out in 2008 and then the second one I believe just now just now came out yeah just now came out in 2020 so I'm excited to see that one my next Christmas movie is Bad Moms Christmas. This movie is so freaking funny. If you have not seen this movie or the original Bad Moms, I highly recommend it. It's rated R, so it's not kid friendly, um, but it's so freaking funny. I die every single time I watch it. It's really, really good. It came out in 2007, or 2007, 2017, and it's about basically these moms, and it shows how they do Christmas and how crazy people get and how they um, how they celebrate it basically with their family and then it goes through all these friends and moms and then it just it's just really funny the the actresses everybody in the movie is just they work together phenomenally 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 it's really good I definitely recommend it the next Christmas movie is Elliot so I have not seen this one but this one has is on my list to watch it's basically an animation film that is on reindeers and this little baby reindeer basically the underdog and he tries to become the next reindeer in line to fly Santa's sleigh and it looks really cute and I'm sure it goes through like how he gets to where he becomes and if he gets it or not I'm not really sure what happens but this one's on my list and I really want to watch it if you have watched these movies that I haven't watched please let me know what you rate them and if you like them or not because I'm highly interested the next one is holiday this one is so cute I watched it at the beginning of December it's 
basically these cup this couple that meets up together and they only date on the holidays so they do their own lives but then when Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter comes along they get back together and they take each other to their family events or their friend events so that no one is bothering them with like hey let me sit you up or hey how are you doing or hey are you dating like those kinds of questions so it's really cute I definitely recommend this one too if you're into the romantic um, movies this one is for you so next on my Christmas movie is with the nun other Vanessa Hudgens. Actually, there's two with her that I really like. So the first one is The Night Before Christmas, and she is a high school teacher. And this knight comes from, I don't know what century, but he like comes back from some certain century, and he she runs into him on the road, and he's in the hospital, and she waits for him, and then they like start a day or whatever, and yeah. The next Vanessa Hudgens movie is The Princess Switch. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. They just came out with the second one, so that's kind of exciting. The first one came out in 2018, and it's Vanessa Hudgens. One's a baker, and one's a princess, and then they run into each other and like, oh, let's switch lives. It's basically like the parent trap, but not setting up their parents. They're setting up their own lives and kind of just like getting away from their original day. This is another like Hallmark lifetime movie it's definitely like super cheesy but it's really really cute i would watch it over and over again the next christmas movie i don't even know what number we're on i have not seen this movie so it's called oh no i have i have i have i just haven't seen it in a long time it came out in 2018 it's called the holiday calendar it's about a photographer who is stuck and she basically inherits this antique magic calendar but every time she receives something from the advent calendar it relates to her like daily life and basically just kind of helps her get back into photography and the Christmas spirit and all that type of stuff it's really it's really nice it's another like lifetime kind of movie these next two I haven't seen, Jingle Jangle and Santa Girl. So Jingle Jangle is very like mystical, all of cute, not cute, mystical, magical toy. It's about a toy creator and his niece, I think it was. Um, she finds this magical toy and it changes the realm of what is going on in their life. It looks really good, it's on my list. And then Santa's Girl is basically Santa has a daughter and he wants her to fall in line with the job and you know like to follow in the family traditions and she doesn't want to do that obviously she wants to like go off and live her own life and study abroad and do this and do that but then he makes a deal with her with if I let you go study abroad you need to come back and no questions asked marry this person and continue the family business and I don't know what happens I have to watch it but I hope that I gave, was able to give you guys new movies to watch on Netflix make sure you tune back in next week or in a couple of days depending on how I feel to see my next top 10 overall Christmas movies that I watch every single year that are my favorite Christmas classic movies if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below, join the fam, I will be posting every single day of December, and that'll be it. I will see you again tomorrow. Be kind, be you. Again, thank you again for watching.